Hey guys, it's John and in this channel, I'm gonna show you how to transform yourself from junior to senior Java developer. And before I start, I just wanna tell you that I'm not a senior Java developer yet, but I'll be in three months. So I'm gonna challenge myself in this channel. I'm gonna share my process to all of you guys and you're gonna see how I learn a new programming language, not only practicing, but also technical parts. Because you know what's the difference between junior developers and senior developers? Of course, it's technical parts. So if I improve my technical part on algorithms, tests, loops, the exception handling, and lots of things, if I improve myself on those things and also more stuff in the backside, I can be a senior developer and I don't need a job to find out. I don't need a job to gain experience. So let me introduce myself as simple things. So my name is Emre Can Özkan. I'm from Turkey and I'm a computer engineer, but I'm mostly gain experience on the software side of the computer engineering. So in that case, in the last five years, since 2018, I'm developing some projects I work for different countries, Switzerland, France, Germany, and also Turkey. Turkey is my main country, the hometown. <laughs> so in this video series, I'll show you how I learn a new programming language step by step. So in 14 days, I learned Node.js. In three days, I learned PHP. But what I say when I'm saying I learned. I didn't mean that I'm, I'm capable, I have experience on the technical side, like 100%, 95% of the, of the programming language. No, I learn what I need. If you know what you need, you're gonna easily learn how, how it, that works. So let me tell you before everything, this is not gonna be a training series. I don't have experience on Java at all. I have experience on coding, but I'll learn what's the technical sides of that. And I hope it will help you and mostly to the junior developers. So, okay, that's perfect. So let me go back to the computer and the first video I'll show you like well, what's gonna be, what's gonna happen, what, what I'm gonna do next and how I'm, how I'm gonna start uh, to learn the technical sides and practicing in a new programming language. And when I start learning a programming language, I'm always checking like what I'm gonna do, right? This is this is the reason. This is the reason that I start from scratch. So there is a there is a website called like Ali, from alijangundus.notion.site. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna share this link so in the in the description below. There are some learning projects, the post learning projects. So if you learn some, what, what, so what what is what is the reason of that? So if you learn something and then I sh you should make some, you know, like practice, you know, and and in this website there are some project ideas. If you learn something, you can practice, you can make examples for you and you can gain more experience when, uh, when you're doing that things. So there are so many stuff like ebook, survey app, chat app, movie booking app, meme generator. That was that that will be fun. But I'll choose I'll choose job search app. I have some ideas like for the next year maybe next maybe nine months later I have some ideas to create some job search app. So I'm gonna choose job search app. So in this series of learning, I'm gonna create job search app. It will help us to find some new jobs, like active jobs. We are gonna apply them. We're gonna upload a CV and we're gonna search, not like a simple search term. So if there are like hundreds, thousands, millions of jobs, listings in this job search app. So you should find the job that needed faster right this is where the technical parts start so in this roadmap as you can see in the screen so i'm gonna share this link also the description below so there is a java roadmap there are so many things from scratch to the up professional things but they are like like they are like the general things so everything has something inside i'm gonna go from scratch like to learn the fundamentals as you can see, there are some fundamentals like the hello world, the, the data structure, and like the OOP, the object-oriented programming interfaces, classes, the models, controllers, the conditions, functions, how to use the loops, how to handle the exceptions, and the, the basic stacks, of course, the data, data types like the const, int, string, blah, blah. I'm gonna go every one of them deeply, okay? 
not like uh, you know hey you can use the const for the const const data types for the constant like not changing data not changing data like not changing parameters so i'm not gonna go like this i'm gonna show you how and when so you know what's the pro what's the biggest problem trying to be a senior engineer let me give you an example from the design patterns so there are so many design patterns right and they can applyable to any kind of programming language but no one shows you how how to apply this design pattern to that programming language easily and when you should apply this design patterns to, to the java and i'll show you every design patterns every data structures and every other thing like the test mechanisms like the exception handling patterns maybe everything you learn in this channel and this is going to be the different part they're all going to be free <laughs> so because i'm going to learn also with, with you guys so there are so many things as you can see so um there are some familiar stuff like the data structures oop like the like, like the one that i learned in my college the last the second year of my college and um, there are some data types the loops the exception and like the generics getting deeper we are going to get deeper and uh, maybe like after this week we are going to get deeper and after this week we are going to check some build tools and um, for that week sorry the next week like i mean two weeks later and then there are some web frameworks uh, maybe spring boot yep as you can see spring boot spring we are going to go get deeper so there are some framework types the collection framework memory management framework um, in Java, memory management is the process of allocation and the allocation of objects called memory management. So when you read this, you probably doesn't understand anything yet. It's gonna be like some memory management. It's gonna be like some making the faster programs or something. But I'll show you what it is focusing on one programming language in one subject, memory management. I'm gonna create a video. I learned memory manage management and I'm gonna show you why and how. In that video, you'll, you'll see how, when, where, how do you use this, you'll see, you'll see that. So let's go deeper, some, yeah, there are some build tools, Gradle, I know Gradle from Android programming and Maven is also from there, Ant, what is Ant, this is the first time I, I heard about this, so let's go. I'm just gonna checking like what's what's happening here. So there's some JDBC. What's that? So is an API used in Java programming to interact with database. So okay. I challenge myself. I learn everything here deeply in three months, and I'm gonna show you how. So the beautiful part is if you know where to focus, what to learn, and where to learn. You're gonna be professional on that. If I professional on basic syntax, I can be professional on data types, and then the variables. And then the conditionals, if else, and then the functions. If I be professional, not like a junior type, like a senior side, why I'm using in that case, if else, instead of switch case. Why I'm using switch case instead of if else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you everything about this. In that thing, everything is here, I think so. I'm not gonna make a longer video, so I, I make some research about like how fast I can learn Java in Google, and it says like as little as six months if you are a complete beginner. So I'm not like a complete beginner. I have some experience in backside, and however, depending on your language, lang learning process could also take like 12 to 18 months. I don't have that much time. Like I'm gonna learn that thing from deeply in three months. Yeah, today's 3rd of April and around, yeah, June, around 15th of June, I'm going to be a senior developer in Java. If I couldn't, I'm going to give you my, uh, give, I'm going to give myself extra one month, <laughs> but I believe uh, I'm going to make it. There are some YouTube channels. I'm going to share every, every, every YouTube channel that I take information from in the description below. Okay. Every time if you see some of the videos from my channel, you'll see you'll see the you'll see the sources that i take information okay and maybe i can create some blog or some other things i don't know but the best for me the best type the best type of learning is teaching is showing someone what i what you learn the best i think that this is the best type i hope everything is good on your side and i um, i believe that this this process is going to be great 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 for everyone who is watching that video and who is watching that the playlist so let's say junior to senior in java playlist is beginning